check it out guys getting everything ready for a double xl so this is the main chassis for a double xl let me show you guys so these right here as you can see for the side rush for the lst2 let me show you the difference in the length so can't really see but see so it's matching up right there the plastic and then look see how much longer they are so this is the double xl brand new chassis in a, in a plastics just lost the, the little tag for it then i also got the brand new 454 engine on it for it I have these also the center drive shaft they're long they're a little bit longer i believe than the lsts and the lst2 and see the the arms for the double xl the lst2 and that brand new arms and i got all right here all these work i'm just gonna make this stock i do have aluminum parts so i can make out aluminum but i'm actually running this one see another another drive shaft and also i do have another cover but on this one i was thinking about putting this rpm for the gears then i had a thing for the battery mount on the bottom some shocks the shock bodies the um the mounts and everything for it i got the the wheels i got the brand new wheels for the wedge gotta get them to beat up for the, the, the wheels on the double xl more of the plates i believe all the plates are right here though but i have so much extra stuff and i have the transmission the fuel and then the the battery um the receiver box in there then the starter one Yeah, all these parts for it. Just gonna build another double XL. And I was thinking about either probably going with the the stock pipe or maybe using this one. But yeah, let me know what you guys think.